Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sammy for those who are new here and today I'm going to be reviewing the Juvia's Place Culture Palette and if you want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. <music> And you're just going to put that right into the crease. My goodness, the shadow is super pigmented. It's beautiful. Not sure if you guys are going to be able to tell right away. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And I'm just working that in. Anytime I'm doing my eyeshadow, I like to hold my brush at the very end just because it's easier to work with and blend out your shadows instead of like holding it like close here. You're not going to be able to kind of get that flawless finish that you like. So you want to kind of hold it at the end. Next, I'm going to go into this really pretty deep emerald shade and I'm going to take that into my outer corner. So I can already tell that this darker emerald color shade, you have to build it up a little bit just to kind of give that extra coverage, but it's a really pretty color I do like. Next, I'm going to go into this really pretty lime shimmery shade and I'm going to take that into the inner corner. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go back into this darker emerald shade and I'm going to just touch up my outer corner with it. And I'm just going to make sure that that's like blended in together a little bit better so you don't see like a big old line going down. So I just do this part to make sure it all like comes together and it makes a big difference. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. And I'm just going to work that in. You want to be very like gentle about it too because you don't want to go a little overboard with it. Alright, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go back into the shade here that we used earlier and put that in the crease just to touch it up a little bit better. So I'm just going to work that shade in because we lost it a little bit and I'm just going to try to pick it up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to go in and use the Jekka Black Hydration Primer because I have dry skin and I need a little bit moisture to my face before I put my foundation on. I'm just going to blend that in. Now I'm just going to go ahead and curl my natural lashes before applying false lashes. And I like to hold it for a few seconds longer just because I feel like if I do that and I kind of like push it up a little bit, my natural lashes and my false lashes blend in together a little bit better. Just a little trick. Next, I'm going to go ahead and use my LA Girl Jet Setter Eyeliner, and I just put this on the top line.
Next, I'm going to go in and use my Morphe mascara. This is an exclusive with their Coca-Cola collection, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lashes. Alright, so next I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes and I'll be right back. Alright, next we're going to go in and use foundation and today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Angled Silicone Face Brush to apply my foundation with. And now we're going to go in and conceal the under eye and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to buff that in. I really like the coverage on this concealer just because I definitely love like full coverage versus like anything different. And that's exactly what it gives me is a full coverage concealer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with powder just so my makeup is not moving all over the place. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and today I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer and I'm going to go ahead and carve out my eyebrows. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and use my Milani face palette and I'm going to apply this bronzer down here. Bronzer definitely makes like a world of difference. Like for me, I'm pretty fair skin. Um, but I do like how it gives me a little bit warm to my face to warm it up. Alright, next up I'm going to go ahead and apply blush and I'm going to pick up this shade right here. Alright, for highlight I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit and I'm going to be picking up this really pretty shade here called Lucky Clover. And I'm just going to apply some on the nose. All 
All right, next I'm gonna go in and pick up that shade again, and I'm gonna use a more precise brush and pick it up and put it into my inner corner, like an inner corner highlight. And it kind of gives it like that little extra sparkle. Just makes it pop a little bit more. And now I'm going to go ahead and take that into my brow bone as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and set the rest of the makeup and we're gonna be using my favorite setting spray ever, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Alright guys, so I want to thank you for watching my tutorial on the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. I really love the palette overall. I will say that this emerald color down here, I had to like work with it a little bit. Not really sure about the other colors in the palette, like the matte colors, but it's overall very gorgeous and I love the shimmer colors a lot. I think it's beautiful, very pigmented. Alright guys, so before you go, I hope you can subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me. And hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.